Businesses are temporarily closing their doors as coronavirus shutdowns sweep the globe, but it seems that in Italy, some vape shops have been granted clearance to remain open. Find out more on this edition of Ruthless Insider. Hello and welcome to another edition of Ruthless Insider. Italy has seen the worst outbreak of COVID-19 outside of China after cases first appeared in the Lombardy region but quickly spread to other regions. The Italian national healthcare infrastructure is under enormous strain because of the number of people who need intensive care. To stem the spread, the government adopted some of the most stringent measures in the world, banning all public gatherings, school closings, shutting down most commercial businesses, including bars and restaurants. Vape shops were originally included, but are now exempt, and the country has one man in particular to thank for that. Dr. Ricardo Pelosa is a world-renowned scientist and researcher on vaping and tobacco harm reduction. He is the founder of the Center of Excellence for Acceleration of Harm Reduction, Catania, Italy. Dr. Pelosa had this to say on the situation, quote, On March 11th, our Prime Minister Conti announced a complete shutdown of commercial activity, including bars and restaurants. The only exceptions are pharmacies, supermarkets, news agents, and tobacconists. I got a little bit cross, and the next morning I launched a number of declarative statements. I thought it was terribly wrong to keep the tobacconists open and the vape shops closed for the simple reason that in the situation of high anxiety and stress, people will smoke a lot more at home where they are confined, and they will expose a lot of bystanders to the risks of tobacco smoke, particularly young babies, kids. On top of that, there are hundreds and thousands of vapors across Italy, and because of the stress of COVID-19 epidemic, they would have gone back to smoking to maintain their nicotine needs. I thought that is going to be extremely dangerous from a public health point of view, and I pointed that out to the government. On March 13th, the Ministry of Health and Prime Minister clarified the situation, and they said that besides tobacconists, vape shops can stay open to provide the needs of people who vape and possibly a factor were the taxes on vaping products. But in a situation where the country is losing billions of dollars, it's unlikely that was the main reason. Do you think it's a good or bad thing that these shops have remained open amid the quarantine? Please share your thoughts with us down below. And as always, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and ring that bell button to keep up to date with all of our Ruthless content. This has been Nick with Ruthless Insider, and we will see you in the next video.